23 minutes before 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Beautiful Friday morning. Hope you're doing well. Our fifth day broadcasting from the Paddock Mall here in Ocala. And we're going to learn a little bit about choreography now, Robin. We're going to learn about the art of dancing and how it all comes together. You know, you kind of take it for granted. When you're watching a show or something, you see all these people on stage and they're doing all these moves and they're doing them in uh, in harmony with one another, I guess, using a musical term to uh, describe what you visually see. Mm -hmm. You know, I can remember as a kid going to Radio City Music Hall and seeing the Rockettes, you know, And, and everybody would be so excited because these girls are dancing and they're putting their legs at the same exact time and all I remember thinking is look at all those girls that's that's all I remember that's what I remember they're amazing Uh, but so much goes into these uh, and then as as a young man I was working at uh, the Nassau Coliseum and I remember seeing the uh, the ice skaters Uh and the choreography that they had to do well a lot goes into that and I don't know anything about it but we've got two young people in the studio who know a lot about it Uh, Emily on Emiliana? Emiliana Messa. Emiliana Messa is here. She's a cheerleader and a choreographer. And you are from Trinity Catholic High School, correct? Yes, sir, I am. Nice to meet you. Do I call you Emily or Emiliana? Emiliana. You can call me either way. Emily or Emiliana. And uh, Lane Pindell? That's right. Nice to meet you, Lane. You are also a cheerleader and a choreographer, but you're from Vanguard High School, correct? The finest school in the land. (laughs) Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A rivalry. A rivalry here. Yeah. So are are you boyfriend and girlfriend? Oh, no. No. We're just really good friends. We cheer together, so. You cheer together? Yes, sir, we do. Well, that that is interesting. And, And does this lead... To like the things I was talking about, like the uh, dan- dancing on Radio City Music Hall and things like that? It does, in a way. We go to a lot of cheer competitions everywhere in Florida, and we compete against other teams. Really? So we do like dances and stunts, and we tumble. So it's really unique. Oh, wow. It's awesome. Yeah. So Tumbling we're, is amazing. So how does it start? I, I guess I'll start with you, Emily, when you were a little, little girl. Yes, I started when I was around six years but, old. But what was more attractive, dancing or, or cheerleading? Cheerleading has always been the attraction really? towards me. Yes, really? sir. So, it. so you're watching cheerleading on TV or in a, on an actual football field or something? Well, I do both. I do sidelines and I do competitive cheerleading too. So on Friday nights, I cheer for our Celtic boys, which is an amazing team. So we always cheer for them. And right. then on the weekends, we usually have cheer competitions away, really? like in Daytona or anywhere. And we go to a big cheer competition and compete against other teams. So you have a wall full of awards somewhere? Yes, we do. You do? <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. Pretty much. <laughs> wow. So this is radio. So you have to describe what you do. Do you jump really high? We or? jump really high. Um, cheerleaders flip and gymnasts pretty much tumble they have the pretty tumbling but us cheerleaders the pretty tumbling the pretty tumbling i've us never cheerleaders- had a pretty tumble <laughs> well it's a lot of work to get there but um we tumble a lot also like it's it's it, like our hard work pays off at the end because at cheer competitions we hard just work show always up pays off. yeah right, right. we always go to cheer competitions and we do what we learn at the gym we practice mondays and wednesdays and we both cheer at brandon all-stars which is down in tampa so we drive down there every monday and wednesday wow. and we practice with wow. our team who knew this was all going on <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you bring it to our attention do is it a spectator event can we go down and watch it yes there's yes. actually um one of like the biggest cheer competitions in dallas which is nca and they pretty much have like around eighteen thousand. It's like the Olympics for cheerleading. Yes. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. really? Just nice. 18,000 spectators. That's just spectators. So, Lane, how did you get into it? And is is a male cheerleader unusual, or are there a lot of male cheerleaders? Um, there is not a lot of male cheerleaders. They are um, not very many. So, what? how did it start for you? Were you watching cheerleading, and did dancing attract you as much as cheerleading? or? Um, I dance and cheer as well, but I cheer more, and just... Um, just watching it, I was like, wow, I really want to get into that. And then I was introduced to it, and I've loved it ever since. Are there stars in cheerleading? I mean, is there somebody you can name that maybe I'll know the name of? No. 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 But they're, they're, so there are stars, but I don't know them. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Well, name them. I mean, Miley Cyrus did cheerleading when she was really little. little but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, so I know her, but not from her cheerleading. Yeah, that's right. And, and from her daddy's funny haircut, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 so so you are so you came into you came to our attention because you walked in through the door because we're now broadcasting from the mall. Yes, we are. And, and great location. And a great location. And so, do you have ever have cheerleading competition here in the mall? No, we've never had cheerleading competitions in the mall. But we used to cheer for. Um, Legends, which is located in Ocala, and we used to have fundraisers here at the mall. 
Oh, okay, so, okay. Yeah. And what is Legends? Um, Legend All Stars is located by um, Booster Stadium. It's a the Vanguard it's Stadium, mm-hmm. and it's a competitive cheerleading as well. Yeah. Gym. Oh, okay. It's oh, really? a gym for them. Okay. They're and awesome. Lane, do you flip and stuff for cheerleading, or do you catch the ladies, or what do you? I do? flip, jump, twist, catch, uh-huh. throw. I do wow. It all. Really? That's I pretty do awesome. I do. So, if you uh, how do you, how much do you practice per day? Is it like hours and hours? Um, Monday and Wednesday, two hours. Two hours. And then I on Wednesday practice four hours. Do you practice together? We no. practice at the same times, but we don't practice together because we're both on different teams. D- different teams. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's different levels and okay. teams when it comes into all of that. Does does the person who serves as the coach? Well, first of all, is that person called a coach? Yes. And is that person important? Very. Very. Okay. Let's talk about that for a second. So who? Is it, is it a coach? Am I saying the right Yeah, name? it's a coach. It's a coach. So um, who's your coach? Well, for Brandon, I have Coach Vince. He's awesome. He's a great guy. He uh-huh. has great talent. He teaches us everything, and it's amazing. Like, he's really good. And then for um, TC, since I cheer for high school as well, I have Yolanda Brooks and um, it's Dunning. And they're amazing ladies, too. Like, if it wasn't for them, our cheer team wouldn't be where it is today. Really? Yes. And wow. then we have another coach that's, like, tumbling coach. It's um, Dennis Skilly, and he has the talent for it all. He cheered at Worlds, and he's amazing as well. Is, yes. your, is your voice important in cheerleading? Very. <laughs> well, not in competitive cheerleading. In high school cheerleading, yeah, because you have the cheers. But in all-star cheering, you just want to smile and keep breathing. So it's your, your body. Oh, okay. Your body has you to be to in be. perfect shape. Oh, yes. Yeah. I, I, is, is it fair to say, and all the athletes are going to hate me for this, but is it fair to say that the cheerleaders are in better shape than the athletes? <laughs> ah, that's a yes. That's a yes. I can read through that. That's a yes. That's exactly that's a tough call. A lot of yeah. people like to say cheerleading's not a sport, but, but it really it, is. Hello, it is. yeah, but I've sat in the stands. I've looked at cheerleaders, both male and female, and I'm not saying all the football players are out of shape, but some of them are. I totally agree. It's <laughs> yeah, it's a lot different than uh, competitive cheerleading is a lot different than high school. Like we're in a lot more shape than you would think. Are you able No, I do think you are in shape. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you both able to perform during halftime at your uh, high school sporting events? Do they allow you that luxury to do that? Uh, our, like, as our team? Yes. As our, yeah, as our high school cheerleading team, we have this thing called the Irish Jig, and every third quarter we play it, and we do um, our little traditional dance. So everyone, like, joins, stands up, and, like, waves their hands with us, and we all just jam out to the Irish jig. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. So let's talk about the choreography. This is where, this is, like, to songwriting. I mean, you actually write a dance, right? (laughs) Uh. Um... Not exactly doing <laughs> This is the most distracting studio <laughs> I've ever worked in. Walk by and <laughs> All right. It's like, hello, everyone. It's a very distracting studio, by the it's way. It's great. Um, we so you, the uh, choreography is, help me understand what it actually is, because maybe I don't even understand. But the way I always envision chore- choreography is like the songwriter writes the song. The choreographer writes the dance. Is that right? Exactly. Right. The motions, the, all the movements. The so how do you the write them? Count. On paper or... You There's a eight count. Yeah, it's a There's count. A, just a big sheet. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and just keeps going from one. You mean like the musical chorus line? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. One, <laughs> two. Magical <laughs> yeah. sensation. What was That's that song? Right. Do you know that song? No. no. <laughs> Gone, right? <laughs> yeah. Lost on you. <laughs> really? You don't know chorus line? <laughs> Never heard of it. Really? It's you would young. love Chorus Line. <laughs> you weren't born then. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, but it's a... It's I know. It's supposed to be a classic. Oh, you got to look it up. <laughs> but you, know why you, you know why you should look it up? Because the story in Chorus Line is about uh, dancers trying to get a job and, and the whole competitive nature of it. So uh, so let me ask... Well, let me stick to the choreography part of this first of all. So you write, you write a dance... Or you design a dance. Is that how you say it? You choreograph, you choreograph. choreograph a dance. Okay. Mm-hmm. So how do you teach it to the others? Slowly. You just do it motion by motion and just keep repeating it. It counts. Mm-hmm. It counts. And just really? It counts. Yep. You have to learn your counts or you're not going to. If you don't know your counts, you're Oh, I so wish we luck. had a portable microphone. Oh, yeah. I would love for you to teach. Let me just drag somebody in here. <laughs> teach them real quick a dance. Te- teach, bust teach, a move. A, teach a few steps. Yeah, how to bust a move. <laughs> Yeah, if, if I if I recruit somebody in here, I just saw somebody go through the door. Maybe I'll bring somebody in here. Bring them back. I don't want to do it myself because I'm I'm already really good at dancing. I think, I, yeah, you have it in you. I yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Better than us. You can tell. Yeah, right, right. So, so okay, so seriously though, I mean, it, does it start? 
do do some dancers learn the choreography like instantly or is it they're the ones that is it copyrighted i mean do you actually say you know what that's my dance no oh okay you can't do that huh it's not in, in well i've never heard of someone doing that what, what do you uh-huh. call it robin in, in, intelligent property or something right exactly intellectual property intellectual when you property. create something yeah yeah so you can't you copyright can it? Insurance. I don't think so. No. Okay. You you Maybe had brought up uh, the word the word worlds before, and also the Olympics. Is this an Olympic sport? And what happens at the world events? I don't think it's an. Olympic it's sport. not an Olympic sport, uh-huh. but it should be because it's amazing. But um, worlds is everyone from the world comes and competes at the Disney World Sports Center. You have Orlando. to be invited. You have to be oh, okay. invited by like oh, really? the head. Yeah. people and mm-hmm. you go and compete at worlds like last year top gun from miami won and they're amazing and they won worlds are you guys invited division. to go there uh my team last year was invited we really could you teach worlds. this guy to dance would you like to learn how to dance to move. would you like to learn how to dance <laughs> yeah yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> can we invite him in here will you show him how to dance you sure. want you want to learn how to dance come on in <laughs> <laughs> come, on, come on in. We're going to invite this young man into oh dance. This is great. We, we do have a camera going. So, okay. so uh, and I'm, I'm going to kind of a- ask one of you to teach and the other kind of narrate because okay. you won't be by a microphone. We're inviting a young man in off of, off of the mall here. Robin went to get him. <laughs> All right. And, and who is this? What? We're going to learn to dance. <laughs> We're competitive cheerleaders. You don't know each other, right? This is, yeah. this is brand new. And what is your name? Miguel Lopez. Miguel, Hi, Miguel. Lopez. Welcome. Are you a dancer? No, I'm not a dancer. Oh, you're going to learn something today. You got a, you, you've got a beautiful... Yeah. All right, so, so now, Lane, we're going to have to have you uh, illustrate this. And now, now, make sure you stay in the camera line. You go, this, By the way, um, this is going to all be on Facebook and YouTube and all that stuff later on, okay? All right? It's, it's actually live right now, so... I'm going to teach him the Irish jig. Going to teach him the Irish... You're going to learn the Irish jig. The Irish Are jig. you Irish? Huh? Do this no. no, not Irish. Right. Okay. okay. Third quarter at uh-huh. Trinity Catholic football okay. games. So. All right. The Irish trick starts and it's like, okay. That's called the Irish washerwoman, by the way. You go here, you go, you go, and you jump. All right. And then go. Wow, you're doing it pretty good. Here, jump. Here, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Now wait a minute. Is that (laughs) face? (laughs) Is he supposed to make that face? No, you just watch his face. There you go. How to do this too? I yeah. have no idea. I do not go to TC. <laughs> he knows how to do that. You pop your hands and now to okay, the other okay, side. Right. You pop your hands right. and then, yeah. All right. You got it. And then, and then, and then. All right. <laughs> that was awesome. Now, let me see if you can do it without her helping you. All right, you Did you learn it that quick? Are you, are you a quick okay, learn? I got this. I got this. All right. You got it. Okay, he's got it. No, 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 no. And then you just step to the side. Man, you, uh, you've got it. Yeah, you've good. got it. Next St. Patrick's Day, you're gonna rule. <laughs> yeah. Your turn. <laughs> yeah, what's not up? my turn. No, not my turn. Right. Well, 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 thank you. Do we have a, a parting gift for our, for our dance student? Oh. Robin will get you something. Robin will get you something. That was great. <laughs> you want me to call you? No. Oh, what? When I was younger, you you came to my my classroom. Oh, I came to your classroom. Yeah, you what did. did what Robin and I did? Yes. You did. What did we do? Uh, it was a camp, a police camp. Rob, we went to his oh. uh, camp. Did we teach police you anything? The pack, the yes, pack, ma'am. police yes, and ma'am. children yes, uh, connecting yeah, oh. with the one or two jams and all Years that stuff, ago. yeah? Yes, oh, we must, we still have you. Yeah. We do, on tape. Somewhere on tape, yeah. So Robin yeah. has a gift for you for coming in here and, and being a good support with us. Thanks We've got a... Just tell him what it's worth. <laughs> we we have a $10 gift certificate to Walmart. There you go. Hey. $10 for Walmart. $10 for Walmart. Socks All right. Thank, well, thank you. you. Good yeah. to see you again. Yeah. Thank Thanks you. for thank coming you. in. Thank you very much. Uh, in the studio, Emiliana Mesa. Yes, sir. And, and uh, thank you. Good. To, thank you for coming in. That was fun. Uh, and Lane Pindell. Yeah. And they are helping us understand what they do as choreographers and cheerleaders. So we had fun with that. But that was, was that unusual for you to teach somebody who had never danced before? To no, just, he did pretty well. He busted he the move. Great. Busted a move. <laughs> busted a move. I got to learn that. that <laughs> that's what busted it means. Busted a move. <laughs> So what is the school year, let's see, the school year starts on Monday? I started Wednesday, actually. Um, oh, you just started. That's yes, right. Sir. Yeah, I'm you told me that on the phone. I'm right now, but I'll be going there after this. Oh, you got to go to school today? Yes, sir, I do. Oh, okay. And, and is, is the uh, school, is your part in what you do dictated by the sports program? Sort of? Mm, kind of. Yeah. yeah. So whatever they do. So you go where they go? They, yeah, they, we go where they go. Do you take the same bus? 
Um, the cheerleaders take a different bus. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you have uh, any male cheerleaders on your team? No, it's all girls okay. on our cheer team. All right. And, yes, and Lane, so you're the only guy? I was the only guy when I cheered at Vanguard. Oh, you're done. You you yeah. graduated. No, I'm a senior. I just, I didn't like it as much as competitive cheerleading. I want to focus more on Oh, okay. All star, so. So yeah. now you're just doing the competitive stuff. Yes. And, and, and is the, um, the, the best gig you've ever had happened already or is it in the future somewhere? It's always the best. Always something happened yeah. in the future, right? So what are, you, what are you hoping for? A world's ring. When you win worlds, you get a ring. Oh, really? It says world champion, and then the year you won, and I won one. So that is the holy grail of cheerleading. That is. That's it's it, the world's yeah. ring. Do you know anybody that has it? Yes. Plenty. A lot really? of people that we yeah. cheer with all have world champions. Really? So does, o- does Ocala, I mean, do you rank the different parts of the state? Uh, like, do we have, like, some of the really best cheerleaders right here? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know you do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, we really do. Um, where we cheered last year, our team was actually one of the first teams to go to the summit, and we went as a legend cheerleader, and it was great. We had some of the best athletes in Ocala, and a lot of them have moved on to college to play football or just to... Okay, so I have, I have a question for you. Okay. When, when I was a kid, and you know that was a long time ago. <laughs> okay, when I was a kid... Only a few years. When I was a kid, <laughs> I used to watch guys ride bicycles, meaning that, like... Well, they were called stingrays back then. I don't yeah, know what they were called. Yeah, they had big banana seats on them. They were no, okay, you don't know what I'm know, talking about? No. Well, anyway, you know what a wheelie is, right? No. Yeah. You know what a wheelie is? Okay. <laughs> to be able to accomplish a wheelie, I'm trying to make a point here. To be able to accomplish a wheelie was like awesome. Anybody who could do that was like, wow, you are so good. Now you see kids on bicycles, they're dancing, they're standing still, they're, they're, they're riding they on, hand, on, on fences. Yeah. It's uh, unbelievable. So. Yeah. Has the same kind of evolution happened in the world of dancing? Like, if you look at old dancing, things that people said were outstanding 40 or 50 years ago, do you look at that and say, that's nothing compared to now? Oh, yeah. You do? Much. Daily. Really? Yes. So somebody like Fred Astaire, even though in his day, you know the name, right? No. You don't know Fred Astaire? <laughs> he would be a great, great grandfather to him. <laughs> Great, great, great. Disappointing a lot of people. So who's so who's a, a big star dancer today? It's more. It's not really more of dancing. It's more of just like tumble. Like okay. who's who's the best at what they have? Like back back in you know even before our time, there were dancers that made names for themselves just because they were dancing. Is tap dancing still out there? It is. Yeah. It's everywhere. Do you guys do that? Oh, no. Oh, you don't do that? Oh, mm-hmm. no. That's a totally different no, thing. No, no. Yeah. Yes, it's completely different. Yeah. It's more of the chill world than the dance world. Really? Mm-hmm. Yes. Are you on a strict diet? No, but I should be. I know there's <laughs> gyms around the uh, country that, like Ace of Birmingham, Alabama, they have like a specific diet they have to follow, but mm-hmm. I have friends that cheer there, and I know they don't follow it. Oh, they don't? Yeah, no. Since uh, you're a cheerleader this year, when next year comes, do you have to try out again, or, or are you automatically on the squad? You have no, to try, you have out, to every, try out every uh-huh. season and every year. Okay, and then are there different cheers to learn every year, or do they recycle the same ones, or how does that work? You learn something new every year. Uh-huh. A new routine. And new everything. routine. New music, new moves, new... Stunts, everything. tumbling, everything jumps. Really? Everything's wow. new. But when, we, uh, when I did the intro, I, I mentioned that I used to work at a coliseum up in New York, and that's where the ice skaters would come. And we got to know the ice skaters, and they had a strict weight rule. You could not be over a certain weight or under a certain weight. They had to stay where they were, basically. The girls, it was all girls, I think. Yeah. So we'd go to this restaurant, and they would eat these unbelievable hamburgers. How could you eat so much? <laughs> How could you? You're supposed to stay thin. Well, because they're doing what you guys do. So you burn off a lot of calories. Yes. Oh, yeah. We do we so much. Run, I know my team, before we even start practice, we condition, and we run like two miles at the beginning practice, condition, and then get to practice. Are you able really? to? Really? Wow. Are, are, are you able to go and volunteer at the Marion County Youth Football League where they have the tiny, tiny... Uh, uh, little children as cheerleaders i know um a lot of girls from my school they have coached with them Uh uh-huh but i have never done it because they're like eight years old right the the little ones are yeah so do you like the parades we've been yeah we've been in the ocal we were in the ocal parade last year i like the attention yeah (laughs) oh yeah i bet does it get tiring though And, and does the does the pavement hurt or i don't really notice it until the end when there's no one watching because 
Well, you I, must have been the one flipping down the street then. Yeah. Okay. That you were right. flipping down the street? Yeah, I was. Yeah, you, you flipped when, when I we I was were worried about you. I remember yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, well, I had you gloves were flipping. on. It was good. <laughs> you, know, you know, sometimes in movies they use, uh, what, do you call, what do you call them, not role mo- not extras, what do you call them? Stunt, stunt, stunt doubles. Stunt yeah. doubles, yeah. Is, is that something you could do? I mean, Probably. Sounds like it would make a few dollars. That'd yeah. be fun. I wouldn't mind hurting myself for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Travolta lives in town. I wonder if he ever needs a double. Yeah, Hello, Travolta. Might. You'd have to you'd hire have, me. You'd have to put. A, <laughs> you'd have to a little bit. Of, but he learned how to dance just from that movie. Really? What, what was the movie? Oh, Saturday, Saturday Night. Night Don't Fever. tell me you never heard of that Saturday movie. Saturday Night Fever. Right. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it was just on TV the other night. Actually. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My dad pointed it out. Your yeah, dad pointed dad. it out. <laughs> But, the, but and Travolta told uh, Dave, was it Dave from Schlenker from the Star Banner? Yeah, Dave Schlenker. That, that's where yeah. he actually learned to dance. Well, the reason he learned to dance was for that movie. Oh. And then that kind of opened up a whole new world for him. That's for sure. Now look at him. So you could you could take it that other that same direction. Is acting something you'd be interested in? I've actually done a lot of um, acting at the Ocala Civic Theater. Oh, I probably have seen you then. I I buy season tickets every year. I was just in Forum. Did you see? Forum? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh good. That. Excellent. Anybody, Excellent. Robin, we remember? Who, what was your character? I was one of the um, three um, Proteans. Oh, the, you guys were funny. Yeah. You guys were really funny. Those. Great personality that you really exude over the stage. Acting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you get to design your own costumes? or, or We don't. Do we have to? a executive uh, costume designer that mm-hmm. we f- they throw it on us and we can't complain is there a, a standard for costumes i mean you have to follow some guidelines like how to upkeep them or what no, do you how, how to you know once once you wear them and things you have to like be real careful with them and can you only wear them in certain places and oh we only wear them while we're at the theater on the stage once mm-hmm. we walk off the stage we either take it off or put a robe on and just stay inside the theater we oh, can't okay. go outside in them yeah Excellent. Emily, any acting um, oh, no. desires? No. I'll stay away from that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. No, thank you. So now, normally when we do an interview, at the end of the interview, I'll ask the guests, because they usually you know, got a book or something, that will ask for websites. Do you guys ha- want to tell websites, Facebook pages, anything so people can get in touch with you? Um, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, at yes. Emiliana Mesa. And mine is at the Lane Pindell. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, say that again. No, it's on... It's, on it's Instagram. Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. And Twitter. Okay. The best social networks. Yeah. Those are the best. Pretty much. Okay. Those are what the teens and everything are yeah. using. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. why I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. <laughs> all right, and, and, and t- say it again, Emily. Where do we find you? Um, Twitter. Okay. Emiliana Mesa. And on Instagram, Mesa Emiliana. Okay. Oh, your name. Okay. Yes, Emily. It's my name. Okay. E M I L I A N A. And then Mesa, M E S A. Okay, excellent. Anybody listening right now that knows you? There should be. They should be. Let me see how many people are watching nice. online. We got, we, we're online. We got we we streaming it live too. So, oh yeah, you got a lot of watch, a lot of people watching right now. Okay. Hey. All right. And, Yay. And, uh, and Lane, just repeat how we get you. Is it the same two things? The the. Yeah, both my Twitter and Instagram is at the Lane Pindell. T H E L A N E P I N. D E L L. Gotcha. The okay. Lane Pindell. Well, we met the Lane Pindell and the <laughs> hey, Emiliana yes, Mesa. Yes, you did. You guys are awesome. Thank you for having us. Very refreshing. Thank you so much for having fun with us no today. No problem. And I love uh, your bow. Oh, thank it's you. Sparkles. Good so luck pretty. in everything you do in your lives. And, and uh, thank you for uh, coming in and introducing yourselves no to us. No problem. Thanks for having us. For everybody else, look, see how easy it was? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how easy it was? Uh, we will take a little break and we will be right back. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. Our tractor services include bush hog, disking, front end loader, box blade, and stump grinding. We also have zero turn mowers for the smaller paddocks, IOAs, fence rows, and lawn care.